Hello, my name is Tyler Young and I work with Go Engineer Technical Support and in today's What's New 2013 video we're going to be taking a look at the measure tool. So here we're going to just activate the measure tool and we'll see some of the differences between previous versions of SOLIDWORKS and the new SOLIDWORKS 2013. First thing that we want to take a look at is this new point to point mode and this we can select points on faces that we want to measure to and from. So here we're just going to select in this face and then rotate around and select this face. We can see that that measures directly from the point to the other point. If we turn this off it reverts back to a previous version where it just goes from an edge or a vertex and it measures there. So that is one of the updates, the point to point mode. Um, let's rotate down here to the bottom and we're going to be able to measure these arcs or circles. Um, previous versions also had arc circle measurements where we could say center to center, minimum distance or maximum distance. But now in SOLIDWORKS 2013 we can customize the distance that we want to measure. So let's say we want to go from the maximum distance to the center distance. Um, so we'll do that. We'll click that arc and then that arc. So now we can see that here at this arc it is measuring from the maximum and here it does measure the center. We can change that here. We can say, oh, we want just the minimum distances. Or we can change it to the maximum distances. So that is another thing. We can now customize the differences between each arcs. So that's another change inside of SOLIDWORKS 2013. We also have the measurement history button here. And if we click that, that opens up the history of the measurements that have been made in this session of SOLIDWORKS and you can see those two different me measurements that we have made. One was the point to point and this other arc center distance. Another new thing in SOLIDWORKS 2013 is the sensor um, which is this item right here and we can create a sensor from a dimension and then that sensor can give us an alert if things change. Um, these are some of the new features inside of SOLIDWORKS 2013 and specific to the measure tool. I hope you enjoyed this and have learned something. Again, my name is Tyler Young and I work with Go Engineer Technical Support. Thank you.